wanted to pledge a half a million dollars. I just landed all by myself. No help required. All right, Darcy, I gotta get a picture with you with this one. Let me hold him up. All right, I believe this is my final tuna fish of the day. Clocking in at approximately 80 pounds. Freaking stud, fought all the way to the surface. I mean, you see the cichlids on this guy are getting bigger. As they get bigger, these grow bigger. And um, over 100 pounders, they stick out so far. So this is really, really cool to see. Epic to catch a fish that's like more than half my size. And uh, he put up one heck of a fight. I've never fought a fish like this back home. So one of these days, you guys need to get out here and go fishing with Captain Corey of Real Addiction Charters because he will put you on the fish. Now I gotta go take a nap. It's getting a little later in the day and after I caught that monster 80 pound yellowfin, we decided to change up techniques and we ran like 30 miles to a different location to do some deep dropping and we're now in about 800 feet of water drive two deep, deep drop rods going down and uh, we just hooked into a good fish I believe so we're gonna find out what it is here real soon we got a barrel fish over here it's a little bit on the smaller side I know barrel fish get huge I mean that's a decent sized barrel fish for the first time I've ever seen one but uh, they're obviously a deep water fish you can see by their eyeballs and apparently they're very delicious. I've never had one. Their meat is super white, pretty much like a golden tile fish. that happened a bunch of dolphins showed up and there was mixed in there was a bunch of gaffers in there like you know big bigger dolphin and then we had a big bull within the mix of dolphin that we just landed probably a solid 20 pound fish awesome we are catching fish today there is hundreds of pounds of tuna underneath this ice and this is the fish we just caught deep dropping we are loading up this chest we have left the deep dropping area and we ran about 50 miles which that's a good hour drive but we are slowly headed our way back in and we stopped at this particular rig here to do some red snapper fishing and the other day the bite was on fire right away but today it seems to be a little slow we've had our baits down there and we're getting no red snapper bites but Damon just caught a nice mangrove snapper and we see some massive mangrove snappers here as well coming out from the rig and um, I've never seen such big mangrove snappers so we're gonna stay here a little bit, see what happens. Maybe we can get a red snapper, maybe we'll get a few more mangroves, and then uh, we're gonna move. Oh, 
Hey guys, I just wanted to break in the middle of this video a little bit. You saw, we just caught all those fish going offshore while well, Darcy and all those guys did. I caught one black fin. <laughs> but Darcy right now, last I saw, she's in third place overall with an 81 pound yellow fin. That was a couple hours ago, so it may have really changed. It may have so really we changed. Know, because we, we really haven't even seen the leaderboard. We can't even get to it. Yeah, they just erased it for the final standings, and that's fine. But, uh, you know, I just want to say that you know, everyone here has been really great. Darcy hasn't been able to go two feet without getting stopped for a picture or some sort of fishing story. And so, you know, just a ton of fans here and so much support. And I want to say thanks to Nick and, and the Woods and George for yeah. having us all here. And uh, we're just kind of hanging. a lot of little kids. Go ahead. Go ahead. And a lot of little kids. A ton of little kids and ton of old people, you know, regular, old, regular age people too. And the moms are saying, you know, how Darcy is influencing the girls to fish more. And we met some kids who uh, had started the channel, and you'll see that on a on a future video. They're, they we, they helped us end the video. You know, we actually had to hide on this uh, stairs here, but Darcy could finish have some food, but not getting stopped. And so you know that's all thanks to you guys. And we really you know again I wanted to just break a little bit of protocol and just stop right here in the middle and say thank you guys so much. And thanks to everybody at Swell Fest and Grand Isle is just awesome. The fishing yeah. is incredible. And you know, we wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Yeah. I mean, even though, you know, Nick, thank you so much. You got, you're awesome. But, you know, it really, truly, it is you guys, the fans, you know, drawing attention and, and watching and just showing support and watching our videos. And that's all we could ask for. So thank you guys more, so much because you're making this happen. Yeah, so so uh, we'll, have to, we'll see you again when, the, uh, when they have the, the trophies awarded and see who wins. And then we're going to wrap it up. So uh, we'll see you then. Twenty-one years ago today, you came to me and asked me if you could have a rodeo. Sure, I've taken that and turned it into something amazing. Congratulations on 20 years of Soul Fest. When you bring a whole bunch of people together through pure intent, what an amazing effect it has on people around near and far. I just couldn't be more proud of the person you are and what this event has become because of your efforts. So congratulations. Everybody is small fest. How about a hand for Nick Rauber? Thank y'all for all your help with promoting us online. So not only do we love George, we love his parents too. Damon is our hot, hot sponsor, that doesn't sound good. And we wanted to pledge a half a million dollars to the Children's Hospital. Because we're going to start out and write them a check for $250,000 for the Children's Hospital. So these guys right here, they're all veterans of our own services. And it's paddle fish heel is their, is their catchphrase. And so I said, well, Paul, let, let's Wolf has take care of it for the 20th annual one. So that trailer that's been sitting out there with 16 kayaks that's built is for this organization. Every time we go fishing, it's a little bit different. We don't wake up at 4 a.m. and just jump in a boat and get our bait and get out of here. It takes a long time. We get George ready. That's the only reason I want to fish nowadays is because of George. This past year, I'm, I'm sheep hunting, and I was struggling, coming down a mountain. My leg was hurting everything, and I said, I promise you, if George could be here right with me, he'd be walking with that mountain with me and gave me every ounce of strength I needed to get down. He was the best man in my wedding, and that wasn't just by chance. It's because he is the best man that I know. So I would like to invite you out to Record Buck Ranch to kill the biggest son of a gun they got. I'm going to give you the biggest son of a gun they got on the ranch. You all right with that, boy? The yeah. annual is over. Come back next year. Thank you, guys. That's an official wrap for us and the official wrap of 2017 Swole Fest Fishing Rodeo. And what an amazing experience for me. And I just feel completely blessed and honored to be a part of it. And honored to go on the boat fishing with George. He was such a trooper out there. And um, he's just an amazing individual. And I also want to thank George, as well as Damon Wood and his family for letting us, accommodating us at their beautiful home here in Louisiana. It's been an epic trip. And special thank you to Nick for inviting us. Nick is such a sweetheart and a very special person. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully we'll be here next year for 2007, 
2018 and uh, we got a long 12 hour trip ahead of us. So until next time, follow your dream and keep on catching.